Hey everybody, this is Bleegee 1995 and today I'm going to go over the final release of iOS 5 before it comes out to the public. Um, this is a final uh, developer one, it's called Goldmaster. And one of the first new features I'm going to show you is called Notifications, or Notification Center. And um, basically what this allows you to do is see all the notifications, like your text messages, emails, and all the apps, and whether that you have set um, to send you those pop-up badges, but all it's all in one place right now, like sort of like an Android. You just put your finger up at the top here and you swipe down and as you can see here I have my current weather and you can also just swipe to the side and um, see your weekly weather forecast and then I have a reminder for me tomorrow because I have a band lesson and also you can have the stocks and if you get a new text message it will come up here or it will pop up on your lock screen but this is kind of a convenient non-intrusive way of showing you your notifications Alright, and they also have done some other things to the camera application, which I'll show you. Bring up the camera. Here, and as you can see, it basically looks the same. Um, you have more options here. You can have a grid. So if you want more precise pictures and stuff like that. Or if you want HDR, HDR on, you can have that too. And it's basically the normal camera application. And, um... Also with this, you can turn it sideways, or you can take a uh, portrait too, but you can use the camera buttons to take a picture. So I'm just going to show you that right here. And I took a picture with a camera button, so that's kind of nice instead of trying to hit on the screen and focus it and then all that with one finger. Um, it's also the same, just the same tap to focus. And also when you go into the camera app, or the pictures, and see what you're taking a picture of, you can just hit this to go right back uh, to take another picture. Or if you just want to go right back to your picture, you just swipe across, which is called kind of a neat feature. And also one thing on the lock screen about the camera is that if you double tap the home button, you're going to get this little camera icon right here. And that's going to bring you right to your camera. So if you want to take a quick picture, um, let's say something's happening, uh, I don't know, some news event's happening, and you want to take a picture really quick instead of having to go unlock your phone, find your camera app, and do that and let it load up. It's, it saves you probably a second, but it's kind of nice in some situations. And the next app I'm going to show you guys is called Reminders. And Reminders is basically the calendar app, but it's uh, more revamped and better for organization and just reminding you, hence Reminders, for uh, your things to do. And um, let's say I'm going to add an event today. And, um, I don't know, we'll just type in something. For the of the video, so foggy. Um, anywho, you can go back to the app or the event, and you can change the time of the event if you wanted to. So let's say we just want to move this to 6 o'clock. Another new feature is called at location, or at a location. And if you turn that on, it's going to show you where your current location is, and if you want a reminder to set from when you leave the place, because it's going to use the location services to see if you leave the place, or if you arrive at a certain place. So it's kind of nice if you were going to pick up some dinner after work and you didn't remember or something like that. So it's and or if you wanted to wrap a present when you got home, just remind yourself right when you got home instead of a certain time, depending on if you don't know when you're going to be home on time or not. And also in reminders, you can scroll through the days right down here at the bottom. And you can also go to the list and uh, just a whole month, you can go through all the months and add certain days. And you can also just go to your uh, list of your previous reminders. All right, uh, a lot of you have probably seen this next feature. It's called iCloud. Apple dem demo this quite a few times. But if you go into your settings, then if you scroll down to your iCloud, then you come up into the iCloud menu, and you can have it send your stuff to the cloud, which is basically um, storage online, which you don't have to worry about in case like your iPhone crashed or you restored it and you don't have your memory anymore. Um, a lot of this is just uh, safety net, I think. But you can uh, back up your mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photos, documents, and data, and you can uh, specify that and find your iPhone, which is a nice app if you lose your iPhone and it uh, sends location services to help you find it. And your storage and backup, you can, I have the free one right now, 5 gigabytes, and um, you can buy more if you need more, like 20, I believe it is, and 10 gigabytes, which is quite a bit. 
but um, iCloud will back you up once a day um, so that's kind of a nice feature to have so you don't lose everything and the last feature I'm going to show you guys is the wireless sync between your iDevice and iTunes and this is kind of nice instead of uh, having your white cable that you have to plug into your device every time you go up to your computer uh, you can do this via Wi-Fi which is um, kind of nifty if you're just sitting around and you want to back everything up and make sure that you have it on your computer um, if you buy a song or something that's kind of what iCloud does but this brings it right to your computer too so that's kind of nice instead of um, taking the time to plug it in alright guys there's um, over 200 features in iOS 5 that are new to the iOS platform but I can't show you all 200 right now because some, some of them are just subtle and some are for the iPad and others you need other iDevices to show like iMessage so if I had one I'd definitely show you guys that but just uh, go and google iMessage and it's kind of the same thing but once again, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, hit right up here, and like the video right down here. That also helps me out. And um, tell your friends to come watch the video to show them the new features. This comes out to the public, I believe, on October 12th. So all of you will be getting this on your hands then if you're not a developer right now. Um, I personally love iOS 5. I'm not going to be getting an iPhone 4S because my contract is not up and I do not want to pay about $370 to get a new, con or to get a new phone and contract. I think iOS 5 is a great free upgrade. Leave a comment if you have any questions, uh, comments, if you have this already, or what you're looking forward to it, anything I missed. And um, leave a comment saying what I should do my next video on. I'm at my 60th video right now, so I'm getting up there. And I want to thank you guys for, I got uh, 300 subscribers recently, so I want to thank you all for participating and being a subscriber. Once again, thank you for watching my video.